Hi guys, so last week, or in fact I think it may have been the week before, I did a video on my favourite unique baby girl names and so this time I thought I would do my favourite unique baby boy names. If you want to watch the video on my favourite baby girl names or my favourite unique baby girl names then I will put a link to the video in the description box below so you can check that out. Also I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently because I've had quite a lot of new subscribers. I don't know whether it's to do with a baby name video or what but uh, yeah thank you very much for subscribing and yeah let me know if there are any videos you'd really like me to do anything if it's to do with baby names or anything else but yeah I am going to do a few more baby name videos in the next few weeks and months so you can look out for those. Right I'm going to stop blabbering on and get into my favourite unique baby boy names. My first one is the name Camden spelt C-A-M-D-Y-N. You can also spell it D-E-N at the end which is exactly as you would spell Camden in London but I like it with Y-N at the end just because it makes it a little bit more different and it means that it isn't exactly like the place in London. But yeah, I just think it's a really cool name, really different name. I also like that you can shorten it to the name Cam because I think Cam is just quite a nice name for a boy. I also like the name Cameron actually, but yeah, I think Camden's just really different and it's a name I haven't really heard that much in the UK. In fact, I've never heard of a child called Camden here in the UK. I'm sure there probably are some, but I know in America there was the girl that was on the hills, Kristen Cavallari or Kirsten Cavallari, I think she's Kristen, I can't remember, but she, her son is called Camden and yeah I just think it's a really cool name. So that is my first favourite unique baby boy name. Number two is the name Lennon, so L-E-N-N-O-N. And it probably became popular after John Lennon, um, but I just think, yeah, again, it's just quite a trendy name, quite a funky name, a little bit different. I think uh, Liam Gallagher's son is called Lennon, and yeah, when I think of a little boy called Lennon, I just think he's got to be a really, like, cool, trendy kind of guy. With, with girl names, I kind of go for more, like, pretty, beautiful names, but with boy names, I always try and think of slightly more like cool or funky names. I don't know why, maybe it's just me, but that's the sort of thing I like for boy names. So yeah, Lennon is my number two. My number three name is the name Corin, spelt C-O-R-A-N, and it's a Celtic name. And I heard this recently because a girl that I am friends with on Facebook, her name's Louise Mooney, she just had a little boy and she named him Corin and I thought it was really, really beautiful. Yeah, so C-O-R-A-N, Corin. And I've heard Cora for a girl, so I think this is like the, the masculine version of it. And yeah, I just think it's really different. I'd not heard it before. I do like Celtic names and Irish names being from Northern Ireland. Uh, so I just think Corin is, is really lovely and something a little bit different. Now, Next on my list it's the name River and if you know Jamie Oliver you will know that his latest baby is called River Rocket and I just think River is a lovely name but I actually had it on my list long before Jamie Oliver called his little boy River. I just think again it's quite a cool name for a boy but I just don't think it goes with our surname unfortunately because our surname is Hampshire so River Hampshire just really sounds like you know sort of a, a river running through the county of Hampshire. So yeah, unfortunately I think that's off our list, but I really, really like the name. Next is the name Kaysen, that's spelt C-A-Y-S-O-N, and there isn't really any meaning behind that name, it just is apparently a made up name. I did Google it and tried to find some research about it, but yeah, it's just basically a made up name. I just thought it was a unique name when I was looking through lots of different baby names. I really liked it, so maybe it's one you like too. What do you think of Kaysen? Is it a bit too weird or do you think it's quite a nice name? Right, okay, on to the next one. And it's the name Bodhi, spelled B-O-D-H-I. Now, I, I can just imagine someone who's called Bodhi being like a proper surf dude, <laughs> being like really chilled out hanging out, you know, in Australia or something. Its origin is Sanskrit and it has links to Hinduism and Buddhism and it means awakening and enlightenment. So there you go, if you're thinking of Bodhi, that's what it means. Next name I like then is another place name and it's the name Aspen. A-S-P-E-N, obviously after the place in the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. 
Again, I just think it's a different name. I think a little boy called Aspen, I could just imagine him. I do imagine him with blonde hair. I don't know why, I just imagine a really blonde haired boy called Aspen. But yeah, I just, I just really like that name. Okay, the next name on my list is the name Shay, and it's another Irish name, and it can be spelt either S-H-A-Y or S-H-A-E. It means full of majesty, so if you're wanting to know what it means, that's what it means. It can be used for a boy or a girl, but I actually really like it for a boy. And I first was aware of the name because the former Republic of Ireland goalkeeper for their football team, he was called Shay Given. He was pretty hot, so that's kind of how I first heard the name. And I just really like it. And the other thing is we have two girls and both their names begin with S. So I've been thinking of a lot of boys' names beginning with S and I really like the name Shay. I just think it's something different, something quite unique. And yeah, it's obviously got the Irish connection, which I really like. Okay, the ninth name on my list is the name Xander, spelled X-A-N-D-E-R. And it's sort of the shortened version of Alexander. I do like Alexander as well, but I think Xander's just really cool. I keep saying cool. As I said, I do like boys' names that I think are a little bit cool and different. And my husband's middle name is Alexander, so I quite like the idea of maybe calling, if we had a son, Xander, because obviously it would have that link, but it's it's just something a little bit different. So, And I like that it starts with an X. You don't get many names that start with an X. And the final unique baby boy name that I love is the name Hudson, spelt H-U-D-S-O-N. And I just think it's actually a really cute name for a little boy. I can just imagine a little boy being called Hudson, but I also think it's quite a cool name for a man. Um, Hudson, you know, a bit more of a strong name. So apparently the name originates from Son of Hud, which was a medi medieval first name. So apparently in medieval times, people were called Hud, <laughs> like Hud. And so their son was called Hudson. So that's actually where it originates from. I thought it was kind of quite a modern name, but actually it seems that it's quite an old name. It's like a medieval name. And also there is New York's Hudson River. I seem to like names that have some sort of like geographical connection, whether it's like a place or a river or something. So yeah, um, I don't know why I like them, but I do. So yes, Hudson is the final name on my list. And uh, that is all 10 of my favorite unique baby boy names. Let me know what you think of any of them. Do you think I'm a bit crazy? They are, some of them are maybe a wee bit random, but I did find thinking of baby boy names much harder than baby girl names. But I want to know what your favourite unique baby boy names are, so please leave them in the comments below. Also, as I said at the beginning, if there's any sort of videos you'd like me to do, if maybe are you expecting twins, would you like a twin name one, or are you looking for cool baby names, or Irish names, or whatever, I will try and get those done. But thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll be back soon. Okay, bye!